I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I have absolutely no product in my hair. Yes, that means I took a shower, shampoo, conditioner, rinsed out everything, got out the shower, and then did nothing to my hair. Now some of you might be thinking, now why would you do that? Well, I've learned that many of you think that I just always have perfect curls, I've never had a bad hair day in my life, and I don't understand the frizzy hair struggle. Well, how you like me now? How you like me now? How me now, me now? Name that movie. My hair has not been this frizzy since like middle school after PE class, but I did still win best hair. <laughs> It might still look pretty cool because it's still nice and big and because, hello, curls are just cool looking in general, but my hair could be so much better. Now that you've seen my hair in its most natural state with absolutely no product, let me go ahead and tell you why you might be experiencing some frizz. If the first thing you do when you get out the shower is dry your hair with a normal towel, You've already created frizz right out the gate. You do not want to do that. That type of towel will create too much friction on your curls and it will create frizz. But instead, you should be using a cotton t-shirt or a microfiber towel. The second main reason I know so many of you guys have frizz is because of the products or lack of products you are using. I can't tell you how many times you guys write me saying, oh, I have frizzy hair, what do I do? And then I usually say, well, what products do you use? And then you say, oh, you know, like water, coconut oil. That's it? Oh, man, man. Water's good. You know, it does create moisture, but it is not a styling product and it is something that dries and like, you know, disappears. Coconut oil is not a styling product. Coconut oil is used for moisture. Maybe it could add some shine. You could use it as a deep conditioning treatment, but it is not something that's going to create curl definition, give you any type of hold throughout the rest of the day. When trying to find products that are actually going to help get rid of frizz, you have to read the bottle and see if it says that it's actually going to get rid of frizz. For example, this one says frizz free curls. This one says anti frizz, moisture and shine. This one says total control for frizzy hair. They all are going to help with your frizz because they say they're going to help with your frizz. If they don't say that, you at least want them to say that they are a styler, like the Diva Curl Super Cream Style and Shape Coconut Curl Styler, or the Trey Lux Super Supreme, supposed to hydrate, strengthen, protect, define curls with soft hold. Hold, frizz free, styler, those are all words that are going to be very helpful for our hair. In contrast, I would not depend on your leave-in conditioner to be the thing that fights frizz. But you can't be mad at leave-in conditioner for not doing that because nowhere on the bottle does it say that. So for example, the Blueberry Bliss, it says it's supposed to repair, restore, condition, and then this one says it's supposed to add moisture, condition, detangle. Nowhere on these bottles does it say it's supposed to fight frizz, create hold, Nothing. This is the step before the styler. So if you're only using a leave-in conditioner and you're wondering why your hair is still frizzy, it's because your leave-in conditioner is just to give you some moisture. It is not claiming to be a styling product that is supposed to eliminate frizz. But hey, there are some girls that just use leave-in conditioner and their hair is fine. That's fine, power to you. But if it is still frizzy and you're wondering why, that could be why. The next reason why you might have frizzy hair is because of how you're refreshing your curls. You might just do your hair on day one, use all your product, and then day two, three, four, five, whatever, you don't add any more product. You think you could just go to bed, wake up, and your hair looks pretty good in the morning, but it's not going to last until the end of the day without adding maybe a little bit more product. So you might just want to reevaluate how you're refreshing your curls. And luckily for you, I have a full video on how to refresh your curls. You guys can click that link, the little white thing that's about to pop out. Watch that video and that might help you get rid of your frizz throughout the week. Now another reason why you might be having frizz is because if you read a bottle and it says use a dime size amount 
and you actually use a dime size amount. <laughs> That's just insane. All of us with big curly hair watching know that if you use a dime size of anything, it's only going to help maybe uh, this one curl right here. You gotta use a good amount of product and make sure that every single curl gets some attention. The next no-no that might be creating some frizz for you is how you're using your pick. Your hair pick could be your best friend or your worst enemy depending on how you use it. So when your hair is dry, yes, you could definitely pick out your hair and get some big volume. But you cannot pick your hair until it is completely dry. If you try to pick out your hair while it's wet, all you're going to do is mess up the curl powder before it's actually dried in its natural curly state and you're going to create frizz. Try to pick from underneath because now we are stretching out the curls and then you're kind of making it straighter. We don't really want to see that. We want to hide that from underneath. Now, yes, I do a couple, you know, little lifts on top from time to time, but you really want the majority of the picking to be done underneath so you don't disturb your visual curls. And last but not least, the biggest curly hair no-no of all time is never brush your hair while it's dry. Now, if you have curly hair, you might already know this one because you're like, duh, that's the most painful thing ever. But hey, maybe you're a new parent of a curly kid and this is your first time seeing these type of curls. Please let me tell you, do not make them cry. Do not brush their hair unless their hair is wet. Do you wanna see what happens if you brush curly hair while it's dry? Okay, so first of all, when it comes to detangling, it's not gonna be fun. It's gonna be a very painful experience and you're not gonna get very far. But you're also brushing out and ruining the beautiful, natural curl pattern. Look at that. I literally just created like a big ball of like moss. Oh, oh no, it's ruined. So it is best to detangle your hair while in the shower and or while it's completely drenched in conditioner. That way the conditioner is going to help give your hair some slip, which is what we call when the brush just slips through your hair nice and easy. That's what we want. So please never brush your hair while it's dry. Now the only time you actually want to brush out your hair while it's dry is if you're literally going for the, you know, Foxy, Cleopatra, Diana Ross, in your face type of look. And don't get me wrong, this look is also fabulous. I do actually want to wear my hair out like this one day. It's just like my inner perfectionist just won't allow this frizz for too long. Like it might start to drive me crazy, but it's definitely a really fun, bold, and sassy look. Yo, hold up. Did I make this whole video trying to tell you guys how to fight frizz, but actually like how big and frizzy my hair is right now? <laughs> well, this is a turn of events. I will admit, I like big hair. So this is just super fun. It definitely gives you attitude, personality. I kind of like it. I guess I said all this to say that frizz happens. So you either could fix it or embrace it. Now, if you wanna see how my curls look on a normal day-to-day -day basis, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I post two videos every week. I post foundation reviews on Fridays and curly hair videos on Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, don't be lazy. Log in, sign in, push the button, and come back next week for more fun videos. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.